So today I'm going to be recording my self tanning video. Um, I used this product all year last summer and I really do like it. Um, so far it's one of the grading, greater tanning products that I've found. Um, it is a little bit more pricey. It's around $50 but it lasted me all summer and I still have some of one of the bottles from last year. So this bottle here lasted me the entire summer last year and I still have some left. Um, this is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse Instant Bronzer Self Tanner and Moisturizer. Um, it has a natural olive color so it doesn't look orange at all. It looks very natural. Um, it's a very beautiful tan. This one you are supposed to leave on for six hours and then you wash it off. But I just recently purchased this one here and this is their two hour express. I've heard a lot of great things about this. This I also have in the shade dark. Um, it's quick dry and supposed to bronze. Um, you apply it, apply moisturizer, um, to dry areas including your hands, feet, ankles, wrists, knees, and elbows. Pump a small amount onto your deluxe mitt. Using circular motions, apply mousse directly to your body. Allow 60 seconds before dressing. Avoid perspiration or water as the tan develops. So this is basically exactly like that one, except this one only takes two hours. So then after two hours, you are able to shower and reveal a natural tan. So I'm very excited to try this one. Um, these are streak free. There's, I've never had any issues with streaks. You do want to make sure though that you apply a good moisturizer before. Um, I like using my Soap and Glory moisturizer. Um, this is an excellent one. I used it the last time and I didn't have any issues with it applying too much to my elbows or any trouble areas that you might have. So I'm going to be applying this before. Also, the night before, um, you can do it the day as you do it as well, but definitely do it at least 24 hours in advance. Um, and then if you're going to do it again, I would do it that day right before you apply your tan. But you want to use a scrub. You want to make sure that all the dead skin cells are off and they are ready to apply the tan. That way it adheres better to your skin, it will last longer, and just give you a more natural, beautiful look. So if right now I'm using the Lily Lavender Lullaby Shower Sherbet. I got this at Target. I think it was around $12. Um, but I like this one a lot. It's just like a tub and it smells like lavender. Um, but I've been using this. Well, you can see how much it's gone. I always use this before my tan, but you could use any, any sugar scrub, any type of exfoliator. You just want to make sure you use it before and you also will use it after to remove the tan before you apply the next one. So this tan seems to usually come off very easily. Um, I applied it about two weeks ago and I didn't really notice any streaking or anything as it comes off so you don't really have any of that problems. But I really like this product so let's get started and I'll show you how I apply it. So first I'm going to start off applying the moisturizer and again this is the Soap and Glory. This is just their normal butter and I'm just going to apply this to my ankle and my knee area. And you want to apply quite a lot. I haven't noticed if I apply too much at causing any problems. Just want to make sure that your skin is very moisturized. Then I'm going to be using my Loving Tan Mitt. And I'm going to take the 2 Hour Express and you want to make sure that you shake it well. I usually do two pumps at a time for my leg at first and then just go from there. Then you just want to apply it in circular motions, making sure that it's even. And then you want to take the last little bit and apply that around your ankles. And you also want to remember to do your feet. And then I always just make sure I check for spots that look like I might have missed or don't have as much as the rest. But I've never really noticed after you showering any problems at all with one side being darker than the other, anything like that, as long as you get it applied correctly, you should be So again, you can try to apply your wrist. Also, I have found with that with these gloves, 
it kind of almost goes through. They're not very thick, um, so if you do have a glove that you maybe like better, um, leave a comment down below. So I do apply the lotion to my hands as well, um, just that way so if it does come through the glove, it doesn't get um, stuck to my hands and having that nasty tan look. And again, you want to apply it to your wrist and elbows last. And it does work best. Normally I apply this in front of a mirror, just so that way I can see every part that, oh, I might have missed something on the back of my arm, so I will be checking after this for sure. Now I've done both of my arms, and then, obvious for the sake of this video, I've worn tank top and some black shorts. Um, but I normally don't notice it, especially if you wait that 60 seconds after you apply it, transferring to other clothes. Um, so I'm going to try and apply it here, but hopefully it doesn't ruin this too much. So I do not apply this to my face. Um, I know a lot of people that I've watched that use it will apply it, like mix it with a moisturizer and apply it to your face. I do bring it out like behind my ears and on my neck, but I don't actually apply it to my face. It doesn't, I don't think, last very long because I wash my face, you know, at least twice a day, almost every day. So it's not something that I really see necessary. I just use a darker foundation, but you do want to make sure that it is applied to your chest and your neck to help bring that all together. And I would also suggest doing this part in front of a mirror because this is kind of difficult not being able to see where it's applied evenly. And sometimes, as you can see there, you'll get those little dark spots. Um, as long as you try and blend everything out e pretty evenly, you know, it works well for me. I don't really know. After you shower, that will just wash away. It's not going to stay there and look like that. So you just want to make sure that you apply everything very evenly and um, so far I definitely think this has made me darker quicker than the normal stuff this definitely I think gives you a more of a bronze look a little faster so if you're wanting something where you get a quicker result um, I think the two hours definitely better I almost feel like this is also a little bit darker even though they're both in the shade dark and then again I'm just gonna apply this um, make sure it's applied to the back of my hands and you do want to wash your hands after you use this but just try and wash this side um, but yeah that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and two if you have any secrets about how you maybe make your loving tan last longer it doesn't really last me a week um, but I would like something to apply maybe daily just to help keep it from streaking as you know you go to the gym or anything like that so definitely comment below and let me know and if you love this product as well let me know what you think about it and your feedback I will see you guys next time I hope you enjoyed this video So I just filmed my how to fake tan video and I hope you guys have watched that. If you have watched that and you screwed up on your fake tan, well then you're in the right spot. I am helping you guys out with a how to fix tanning screw ups video. This video is going to show you some tips and tricks to get your tan off when you applied it incorrectly. So I hope this helps you out and keep on watching if you want to learn how to do this. So you're welcome. For the sake of this video, I butchered myself tan. It looked atrocious, let me add. Anyways, what I'm going to take is baby oil, which I unfortunately don't have shown here, brown sugar, a razor, baking soda, a scrub brush, and some lemon juice. So mix together your brown sugar and lemon juice and pop that baby oil all over whatever spot you have that you need to fix. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Then you're going to take your glove scrub brush or whatever you got, grab some of your yucky concoction that is sticky and scrubby and scrub it all over your legs girl scrub 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 then you're gonna take your baking soda and scrub right over top of that the baking soda is almost like a thinner finer layer of scrubbing so it gets the rest of the stuff off 
Rinse your legs off and then shave them. Shaving will definitely help get the last little bit of that tan off for you. Then wash them off and pat them dry. And girl, you good. That tan is off. Winning. Don't forget to moisturize after this because your legs are going to be super lacking moisture. And there you have it. Presto, tan is gone.